Since sustaining the water damage on September 29th, we have come a long way in our recovery. And you can hear probably children in the background as we're standing in the um, Early Learning Center, which is now up and running and fully functioning. And we have all 90 children located back downstairs in the classroom space, and we're really excited about that. So as we kind of move forward, I'll show you one of the classrooms. Everything in here, of course, had to be replaced from drywall to electrical outlets, ceiling tiles, and new cabinetry. We had to get, obviously, all new furnishings as well, from toys to bookshelves to tables to area rugs. So um, it's, uh, it's been a, a process, but uh, the families and the children and the teachers are all excited about being reunited in their classroom space. We had four HVAC units that were housed downstairs in the basement area, which again sustained about uh, anywhere from 12 to 14 feet of water. So they were all destroyed and we are now taking advantage of relocating them. So my old office now becomes a new mechanical room. So you're going to see several units being placed here. One or two are going to be inside the facility as well in the lower um, child development center. And there's going to be some duct work going through the lobby. So while 95% of the building is back up and running, unfortunately we are still on a little bit of life support. We hope to be off of life support within the next two or three weeks. Over here, it doesn't look real pretty, not very exciting looking stuff, but this is where some of our previous HVAC systems and, and things were housed that, again, uh, trying to be more efficient with what that looks like moving forward to protect ourselves from possibly ever having to go through this um, a second time. We've got our new freezers installed. We've got our new dishwasher. Um, the stove is being hooked up as we speak. All of the pool systems are now functioning and the members are excited about uh, not having to uh, use borrowed space. Um, but we are grateful for Hood College and other YMCA's across the state that allowed us to access their facilities during our period of closure. Our aerobics room, our three racquetball courts, about six offices, our massage therapy room were all destroyed and all the flooring had to be replaced. So we're back up and running, classes are in session, and again, members seem to be pleased and happy and, and we're just glad to, to be in operation. We, we appreciate everybody's support, um, all of the contributions, the outpouring of notes and well wishes. Um, we are still looking at a significant gap in funding um, we're approximately about two, $2.1 million in estimated damages. Anybody that is uh, still interested in supporting the YMCA or wants to contact us to find out what they can do to support the YMCA during this time of need, uh, we are happy to answer your questions and to give you additional information. But we thank you on behalf of the YMCA, the board, and the volunteers, and the staff for supporting us uh, through this uh, crisis.